Hello everyone, my name is Natasha and welcome back to Behind the Trowel. This video is a part of a collaborative project organised by history YouTubers Kings and Generals. All proceeds will be donated to the Ukrainian humanitarian aid for those still inside Ukraine. Links to donate in the description below. Kings and Generals is proud to announce that this is one of the many incredible channels that we've partnered up with for Project Ukraine. Project Ukraine is a playlist dedicated to telling the past of the Ukrainian people to aid them in the present. There is a wealth of history and archaeology that dominates the landscape in the now Ukrainian region. After all, Ukraine is one of the largest countries in Europe, with archaeological evidence of human occupation dating back to the Neolithic. We have compiled a list of the five most important archaeological and historical cultures before the Kievan Rus, who lived on the territory of Ukraine. Kamenya Mahila. Kamenya Mahila, which translates to stone grave, is a structure composed of large sandstone blocks naturally accumulated by the millennials, creating caves and grottos. Geologically and historically, it is one of the most unique monuments of its kind. The largest pile of sandstone blocks is up to 12 meters high and is scattered around an area of approximately 3,000 square meters. Located in the south of Ukraine near Melitopol, it is the remnant of sandstone of the Sumerian Sea of the Tertiary Period, which occupied the territory of the Black Azores and Caspian Seas. Archaeological research has revealed and recorded 68 caves and grottos and around a thousand petroglyphs. These images depict the economy, life and spiritual culture of ancient tribes. The chronology of rock art covers a huge period from the late Paleolithic, which is approximately 22 to 16,000 BCE, to the medieval, which is the 10th to 12th century CE. No human remains have been found in or near the stone grave. There are, however, settlements that can be associated with the monument. Based on this, the researchers conclude that the stone grave was used exclusively for religious purposes as a sanctuary. The Kukateni Tripelian Culture The Kukateni Tripelian Culture is the oldest confirmed European civilization. They are known for the advanced agricultural techniques of the Neolithic to Chiolithic times that existed in the 6th to 3rd millennium BCE, approximately 5,400 to 2,750 BCE, on the lands between the Danube and the Nipper, on the territory of modern Romania, Moldova and Ukraine. To put this into context, the first Egyptian pyramid, the Steppe Pyramid of Dossa, was built in 2,640 BCE. Their settlements are known as megacities, as the population of one city could reach up to 50,000 people. They had distinctive architecture, with homes being two storeys tall, and evidence shows that some of these houses were decorated on the outside. One of the most notable aspects of this culture was the periodic destruction of settlements, with each single habitation site having a lifetime of roughly 60 to 80,000 years. In terms of material culture, they had a distinctively decorated pottery with swirling patterns and anthropomorphic and zoomorphic figures, like this one. The Yamna culture. The Yamna culture, also known as the Pit culture, is an archaeological culture of the late Chalithic to early Bronze Age, approximately 3600 to 2300 BCE. They were a semi-nomadic culture, with some agriculture practiced near rivers and a few fortified sites. They were the first sheep herders who were believed to make wheeled vehicles. The earliest finds in Europe of the remains of a four-wheeled cart were found in the burial mounds of the Yamna culture. If they were the first to domesticate horses is up for debate, with the Central Asian culture Botai being in the first run. Another characteristic for the Yamna culture were their burials of the dead in pit graves, under kurgans or tumuli, or as we would say, burial mounds. The bodies would be laid in a supine position, with bent knees and covered in okra. Some of the burials have been accompanied with animal offerings, others contain large anthropomorphic stelae with carved human heads, arms, hands, belts and weapons. The Scythians. The Scythians dominated the Eurasian steppe during the Iron Age, from approximately the 9th century BCE to the 2nd century CE. They originated in the now southern Siberia, and by the end had spread their influence from China to the northern Black Sea. They were nomadic steppe warriors who were infamous for their horsemanship and warfare. They developed horse breeding and riding to a new level. Scythian craftsmen were good at casting metal. They worked gold, bronze and iron using a combination of techniques like casting, forging and inlaying with other materials. For a nomadic tribe, how do we know this? Well, having worked and explored some of their sites myself, 
boy do they know how to bury their dead. In the high Altai mountain region near the borders of Russia, Kazakhstan, China and Mongolia. The frozen substore has meant that the organic remains of Scythians buried in tombs have been exceptionally well preserved in permafrost. The Scythians took great effort to preserve the appearance of the dead, using a form of mummification. Their graves of the elite comprised of a wooden tomb chamber dug deep in the ground, before having a burial mound or kurgan constructed on top. Grave goods included elaborately decorated gold objects, weapons and even horses. The Greek Polis and Bosporian Kingdom Greeks established colonies on what are now the Ukrainian shores of the Black Sea as early as the 6th century BCE. These colonies traded with various ancient nations around the Black Sea, including the Scythians, the Maotai, the Cimmerians, the Goths, and the predecessors of the Slavs. Some of their most famous sites would have to be Olvia, Panticope, and Hersones. The Bosphoran Kingdom was an ancient Grecio Scythian state located in eastern Crimea and the Tamman Peninsula on the shores of the Sumerian Bosphorus, the present day Strait of Kerch. It was the first truly Hellenistic state in the sense that a mixed population adopted the Greek language and civilization under aristocratic, consolidated leadership. The prosperity of the Bosphoran Kingdom was based on the export of wheat, fish, and slaves. The Bosporian Kingdom became the longest surviving Roman client kingdom. It was briefly incorporated as part of the Roman provenance of Messiah in Fira from 63 to 68 AD under Emperor Nero, before being restored as a Roman client kingdom. At the end of the 2nd century AD, King Seramatis II inflicted a critical defeat on the Scythians and included all the territories of the Crimea in the structure of his state. That was just a short introduction into some of the archaeological cultures that encompass the now Ukraine. We will be going over some more areas in depth, and I do have some videos on Kamya Megila, which I'll put in the description below, as well as the Kukateni Tripelian culture. Thank you for watching, see you next time.